Hello everybody, it's me Gravel Hammer here again on another episode of my Ampcraft series. Uh, we're back here at the kelp farm. Uh, today's episode is going to be me preparing the kelp farm. Getting everything ready so that I can start harvesting. It's a huge tank so I should get plenty of kelp from it so that I can start uh, well, making fuel for my mega smelter so get started and show you a little bit of what I got done so far uh, so I got some glazed hair caught in here this is the line in which I'm going to build uh, the flying machines that'll break all this kelp and harvest it for me and if we go back up here This isn't going to work because I don't have any way to collect it. Now I could do a top um, flying machine up here too that after that returns this flies down and pushes all the stuff down there. But I think I might do something a little bit simpler. It's not super simple. Uh, at this point flying machines would be more simple. But essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up to where it's got a couple tiers and the kelp keep dropping and as it drops it'll drop down and then eventually fall over the edge here and down into a small little system down here, uh, probably of hoppers or just another water stream. And it'll fall down uh, to below here and underneath into the smelter that are gonna have to make to build this thing up which I'll probably have to build a zero tick um, bamboo farm just to run this thing properly so yeah I got a lot of work this is a lot more work than I anticipated but you know what so so be it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get this build up I'm gonna have to build a whole bunch of uh, get a whole bunch more glass uh, some more signs, uh, or some signs, I don't have any signs here, uh, eventually we'll waterlog some signs, and if you kind of want to see a sort of what I'm doing, uh, I'll put a link in the description below to an Il Mango video of his kelp farm that is of a similar nature, but I'm not, not copying what he's doing, I'm doing something specifically so that I have worked everything out, and it should work out just fine. And I even have a return system for the flying machine so that they'll come down here, cause a redstone signal that'll power the observer for them to come back. So let me get some more glass. I do have a, should have a bunch more glass up there in my, uh, I don't know, I'm not really giving it a name, observatory I guess. It sees over all my stuff and the other person on my realm has been planting a jungle. Guess if you can't get to a jungle around here you might as well bring it to you. So let me get that started and get this built up and then we'll go from there. Okay so I got this built up the way I want it. I've got water streams going all the way down to here. So any kelp that gets destroyed it'll float up to the top and then float down these water streams and as it goes down it might go down and then bob back up and come over so it might take a little bit of time but that's not a big deal and I went ahead and got a water stream collection system down here that pushes it over into this little hole here and then that'll push it down into this little system here into underneath of this place which I've got it marked with a sign under there uh, I started digging out under here a little bit let's get over here Whee. okay so underneath here got it dug all the way to the end that way, all the way to the end this way, and all the way to the end that way, and then vice versa on the other side. 
So what I need to do now is this. It just doesn't take Oh no And avoid doing that. Which is gonna be kinda hard. But as long as I'm careful, I can do it. This is going to take a while. <clears throat> okay, that didn't take near as long as I thought it was going to. But it still took a bit of time. No, not that much time. It was only like 5-10 minutes. Let's see here. I got plenty of dirt I'm going to keep as much of this dirt as I can. I'm sure I can find a use for it somewhere else. Pretty much what we want to do down here is kind of make another super smelter type deal. Uh, I might, I was going to do a zero tick uh, bamboo farm, but those are getting nerfed in the next update, so it's not going to do me any good down here. Let's see, do I got room for those two? Yes. And I don't really have the space or room to do that. As a matter of fact, I'm not sure I have the space for much of anything down here. Because if I do... I'd have to do it strangely. But I, I could probably work it out down here. We'll figure it out. We'll bring stuff down here. We'll get it done. Might be a bunch, a bunch of manual stuff, but... We'll figure it out. So let me go gather, or did I have all the stuff in here? <laughs> nope. Some of my diamonds and stuff, and nope, not in there. Let me go back to my base and we will, uh, what about rockets? See if I have any up there. And I think we got everything now to finish, or at least get this started here. So this is where the water's gonna come in. So essentially what I want to do is... know quite what I want to do. I don't want to do a whole awful lot of chests because I don't think I'm going to need that many. I might be wrong, but let's see here. What I could do is it could come in here, drop down there, I could do a chest here, chest on top, and then just continue a train down. Let's see here. These two I got. I've only got 
I'm gonna need more than that. Crap. And then to finish it off. Glass, 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 glass. Well, poop. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Go fly around here. Boom. I didn't mean to break both of them. It's alright. Just put a glass block there, that'll be fine. Right, right. Alright, so we got that done. It's a pretty good landing. And that should sort out all the kelp. Get. There's my sign. It should all go in this hopper and then work either. It'll probably start here and work its way down. But as a test, let's go manually break everything. Plus, I need to. Uh, I can't go anywhere if I can't jump. Jump up. We'll do a. Uh, That's where I dug out, so I'm going to need to... Oh, that is a lot. Ooh. A lag. As you can see, it goes up. And then it all gets swooshed down there. That creates an insane amount of lag. And these I don't care too much about. I guess I gotta breathe, don't I? That's pretty cool, they all get washed down and then... They're already starting to grow. According to the one I watched... This row and the row... No, I won't do that. On the other side, need to be needs to be knocked out so that when the flying machine comes through here, it'll delete this water source here, and the water will just flow down into here, and we won't have to worry about it, and it won't pour out back there. But I think the way I'm going to construct this, it's probably not going to matter. We'll see. So let me finish uh, chopping all this down and then we'll go back under and check our chests. So I might have a problem with this system. I didn't get kelp. But it doesn't tick away fast enough through these hoppers to collect all all the kelp that I had. So I don't know if adding the water stream all the way down to the end is going to be any better. And the only thing that would happen is it would... Eh, let's do it anyways. What's it gonna hurt?
Just realized I don't have any really good way to get to that water stream. To break it, that sucks. So I'm gonna have to dig out. Into a I got dirt in there. Ooh. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Kind of wanted to leave the dirt up there, but I'm going to have to get rid of it to break this glass. Um, I don't know how far this is going to carry it down. So let's do this. Pick up the glass. Uh, All right, let me fix this real quick. There we go. That should fix it, and I don't think this will cause any buildup collect. It might build up back here. But that shouldn't be a problem, I think. The problem I was having is it was despawning when it was collecting right there, but this way it'll collect, it probably collect in every single one of these, which is not a super big deal. Because I'm not going to be down here doing this very often. But, I guess now we need to get started on the, uh, smelter. A line here. Doesn't have to be a whole lot, just enough to do what we need. So let me get this built up and then we'll come back and I'll explain a little bit more. Okay, so the first design didn't work out too well, so I had to use my thinker and I ended up digging down and putting hoppers down there. And then doing it up here so I'd have enough space to run a hopper minecart down through here to, well, put anything in here I needed. What I'll do is I'll have this hopper minecart run around here, go up, and over there, and then the other one will come up over here and around there. That way they don't run into each other and there's no potential for any mistakes. And then at some point, after I get all these red tracks in and stuff, I will, um... Put some redstone blocks there. And we'll get this thing up and running. And what I might do is I might do some mining. And go get a bunch of whole bunch of coal. Because coal does better than bamboo. And that it probably starting out that'll probably work better than um, anything really because once I can get some kelp blocks uh, built up I actually do have some up there in my farm so I could probably divide it between this and then get enough kelp blocks to fill this up and then once it gets all filled up 
Uh, that gets all filled up and my chest gets filled up. It shouldn't be too big of an issue. To, um... Build up a stockpile. And since I do want to build up a stockpile, and eventually what I will do is I will go ahead and do this. All the ones I got left. And we'll start putting them in there, and then we'll build it up too high all the way to about here, and probably take it all the way to the back here. What I might do is just have a string of hoppers underneath of it and then it'll drop straight down <laughs> and then if we fly over here I'll build a little path that will take it all the way over here into my super mega ultra whatever you want to call it smelter which I did do a little bit of work on it uh, I didn't show you guys uh, built this up around it which I thought looked pretty cool and then I'm going to build some stuff on top of it to kind of give it a a uh, stacked up appearance like uh, actual furnaces and stuff And I don't have single person sleep on here, so I don't have any data packs on this, so I guess we both need to sleep. Okay, so <clears throat> like I was saying, uh, I'm going to build this up to kind of give it a, uh, you know, modern furnace type look and then in the middle I'll probably do some usually I probably won't do anything I'll probably do some chests here uh, I got this over here what I'll do is I'll lead a hopper chain into maybe a dispenser that goes up and then I'll have a whole bunch of chests down the middle <laughs> to collect any of my uh, whatever I smelt on this so for now, but like I said, I'll have something that comes up and uh, I'll load everything over here and wherever I have my loader at, I'll have a water stream come up and then put it directly into the chest so that it's continuously filling that and we don't have to worry about it. And my iron farm is still working like a charm. And I'm getting a crap ton of iron. Oh, 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 oh. Stupid wall. But yeah, that's, uh, I think that's probably all I'm going to do today in this episode. Um, I'll get the rails in here. And I'll get the delivery system all packaged up and I'll get everything running like it's supposed to. And yeah, we'll get her to go on. Um, but I think that's all I'm going to do for now. So thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, uh, hit a like. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. And leave a comment if you got anything to say good or bad I'm always welcome to criticism so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode bye